Prince Harry yelled what Meghan wants, she gets before their wedding, new book claims. Prince Harry's nerves almost got the best of him before his May 19 wedding to Duchess Meghan, a new book claims. Royal biographer Robert Jobson writes in his book Charles at 70, Thoughts, Hopes and Dreams that Harry, 34, was petulant and short-tempered with members of the Kensington Palace staff in the days leading up to his nuptials. At one point, Harry reportedly raised his voice and insisted, what Meghan wants, she gets, according to an excerpt published in the Daily Mail opens a new window. On Monday, October 29, Jobson noted that the former Army helicopter pilot was almost shaking with tension on his wedding day as he whispered, thanks, pa, after his father, Prince Charles walked the suit's alum down the aisle in the absence of her dad, Thomas Markle, who had undergone heart surgery days earlier and was unable to attend. Though Meghan, nay Markle, looked relaxed throughout the ceremony, the author wrote that she and Harry had booked a series of appointments with London acupuncturist Ross Barr prior to tying the knot. Harry may have briefly lost his temper with palace staffers, but Robson noted that the royal and his brother, Prince William, have always shown appropriate deference to their grandmother, Queen Elizabeth II. Meghan showed similar respect to her father-in-law, Charles, 69. When Meghan met the Prince of Wales, she was bowled over by his gentlemanly charm, a royal source told the biographer. She told Prince Harry he was wonderful, welcoming, warm, hard-working, kind and stable. She made it clear that he should appreciate him and bond more. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex exchanged vows at St. George's Chapel in Windsor Castle in front of 400 guests including William and his wife, Duchess Gate, Meghan's mother, Doria Ragland, George and Amal Clooney, and David and Victoria Beckham. Kensington Palace announced on October 15 that Meghan is pregnant. A source told Us Weekly exclusively that the mom-to-be is due on or around May 2 which is the birth date of William and Kate's three-year-old daughter, Princess Charlotte. Harry and Meghan wrapped up their 16-day royal tour of Australia, Fiji, Tonga and New Zealand on Monday.